Do a little cardio once in your life, Slicer. Do you I do. Bones? No, you don't. I do, actually. <laughs> now that Pokemon Go's been out, I've been playing... I wander around for like an hour and a half every night after work. Oh, okay. Well, I was actually talking about you fucking uh, LARPing, but sure. Oh, okay, yeah. That too, I guess. Which I will be able to do now that I have more free time. My next day is uh, Wednesday. Or my last day is Wednesday. Oh, so you are finishing? Yes. So are they firing you, or are you just being let go? Uh, I'm just quitting, because it seems like everyone is quitting. Oh. Except for my boss. That poor woman is going to be the only person that works there. Oh. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be working there for long. Uh, I don't know. Every talks, employee, getting... every employee quitting at the same time is a bad sign for a manager. Well, roughly the same time. Yeah. It's going to be a bit staggered, but you know. Right, I'm trying to remember where everything is. I think this is the stairway up to the other gate that makes life yes. much easier. Yes, you may want to open that. May? <laughs> well, do, yes. The only may here is that it really... its <clears throat> That door should not open outward. That's no. stupid. It blocks the path. Oh, well. Oh, fuck, it's the dogs. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let's get murdered! Yay! Well, let's hope not, but it could happen. Oh, okay, let's be real. It's probably not the dogs that's gonna kill me. It's gonna be the fucking thieves. They're not too bad, honestly. Well, oh, okay. They they're... are for a, for a dex play, because they will repost you. <clears throat> yeah. I keep forgetting that fact. I keep forgetting that strength weapons make things a lot easier in some regards. Hmm. Where is it? Somebody. There he is. Please let me out of here. Yay. Somebody. Anybody. Help you can me. teach me spells that I'm never going to learn. Or want to use. <clears throat> Up. You can get a thing from that barrel, though. You can, and it's kind of confusing. What is it, anyway? <clears throat> it's... you see that outfit he's wearing? Yeah. Oh. That... oh. Oh. Yup. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> So, you know that environmental storytelling thing that the that the Dark Souls games do? <clears throat> yep. Let's piece together this story, shall we? <laughs> yeah, there is a theory that he is not actually... Uh, his name is supposedly Griggs of Vinheim, but there is a theory that he is not, will, and he murdered I, Griggs of Vinheim. That, is that or he's an assassin. I have my Besides, yeah. I have an important... I guess special branch of that school that focuses on assassinating errant wizards due to which, his uh, his which spell. Which Big Hat Logan running. would count as. Oh, oh, definitely, yeah. He's powerful enough to warrant it, too. <clears throat> he does go fucking crazy if you complete his quest line. Yeah. Uh, crazy thing, powerful, too. Yeah, the things he was researching are supposedly not quite anathema, but dangerous enough that you don't fucking deal with it, is my understanding. Yeah. I mean, Seath is like the deity madness or something like that. Mm. And he was trying to unlock the secrets of that sorcery that he is trying to use. Mm -hmm. That Seath is trying to use, rather. Ow. It works, though. You know, with Dark Souls 3 being proof that he makes an entire school out of it. Oh! Enough. Nice. Triple kill. Oh, oh god. Okay, I have to tell this. Um, okay, name a scene in a movie where three people are fighting. It's like a tense 
scene and they're all kind of staring at each other down, kind of Mexican standoff kind of thing. Off Can... the top of my head, I can't. Oh, okay. Well, imagine that kind of scene. There's three characters. They're all looking at each other. It's super tense. Everyone's, like, just waiting for something to happen. Now, imagine a car coming by and shearing the top of their heads off. <clears throat> That's what happened last night with three raccoons that were just on the road. They were literally circling each other. <laughs> I didn't see them until I was about, you know, five feet away. Okay. Yeah. So that happened. So. And my first thought was triple kill. <laughs> <laughs> I need. I need a second. Um. So, they were, like, in the middle of the road. Yeah. There were three raccoons just in the middle of the road, like, slowly circling each other. Well, slowly, by the five minutes or about two and a half seconds, I could see them before, you know, they were behind me and dead. They're raccoons, who cares? They're pests. We have a billion of them. Ow. Yeah, keep the keep the shield up. They throw knives. Fuck you. Nice. I can parry too, motherfucker. Shit. Oh. Uh oh. 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 Nope, you're not finishing me off, bitch. Just... When they do their swing, just stab them when they're done. Because they can't parry and swing at the same time, that'd be stupid. Wait, can you get parried when you're doing your... shit? When you're doing, when you're your doing uh, the the attack that's behind your shield, can you can they parry that? Don't actually know. Yes, because the fucking skeletons do that all the time. Not skeletons, the hollow soldiers. They parry? No, they do the this constantly. Yeah. And I parry that every time. So yes, you can parry that. Oh. Hmm. I'm low on Estus. Yes, you are. You only I have three left. Wow. I should probably suck less, but, you know. Well, you said it, not me, but, yes. Surprisingly, <laughs> I find this area more of a pain in the ass than, um, Blight Town. Huh. Specifically because of the thieves. And the dogs. Like, by the time you get to Blight Town, or at least when I do, I am very well equipped for it. I have the Rusted Iron Ring, I have the fucking Spider Shield, so a lot of the problems of it are not really problems anymore. But this place is a bull lake, because it's filled with fast enemies, the cannon will parry you, and the dogs that you cannot parry because they're bitches. And, well, the dogs, so it kind of makes sense. But still... You really don't like this area, do you? I don't. Mm. It's understandable considering your uh, your limitation by a weapon, but yeah. Really? Christ. Oh, you bitch. I say is he does the exact same thing that I'm doing. About the same success rate, honestly. There we go. D -d -d Double kill. <sighs> okay. So I still have a spare Estus. 
full health, more or less. And I'm almost out of the section, so that's fine. That's all fine. I can open the fucking door, open the shortcut, and we can get out of here and get healed. It's all fine. And hopefully never have to do it again. Shit! Oh. Ooh, what we can do is grab the uh, thief set. Because oh, yeah. it's uh, very lightweight pieces, and they do a decent amount of defense. But with no poise. Well, there's that, yes. We I... would be relying on the rest of this set, or maybe the chest piece and a, a slightly li a lighter piece of legging. Yeah. You know, I actually, yeah. I actually checked, and the Warriors set, one of the heavier starter sets, actually also has no poise. Yeah, no. No, it, it doesn't, actually, yeah. It's kind of shit. Yeah, the bandit is, uh, wait, you mean bandit or warrior? I mean warrior. That's the, the, leather. Le the leather armor? I can show you, hang on. Uh, it's like the... the it, it's it, hard leather armor. Yeah, hard leather. Yeah, no points. Oh, that, wow. I did not expect that. I mean, it's got leather and metal pieces. You'd think it'd be decent, you'd at think least. It would. You'd think for a warrior starter set, you'd think it'd be something based around the build. That you'd expect to have, but no. Well, if you're going for heavy, you'd go for knight, and that that does have poise. So the the warrior is kind of the weird bastardized medium weight. So you're probably going to have the the knight set for a while, or that the starter set you start with that that leather one. <laughs> what? The Sunny D still has the logo on it. Yeah. I like that. It keeps the fucking image proper. As you'd expect it to be for a Sunny D bottle. I like that. <laughs> Little things. Yeah, gotta enjoy it. But yeah, uh, that build, people who choose Warrior are probably gonna be using a longsword for most of the game. Or various straight swords, rather. It's, it kind of comes down to preference. Well, frankly, I chose Warrior because it has the lowest combined stats for attunement, intelligence, and faith. So if you are not going to be a caster at all, Warrior is the one you want to pick. Huh. That I didn't know. I assumed that would be Bandit. Nope. It has... I forget which one Bandit has higher, but I think it was attunement, which makes no sense. It, it would have to be a tournament, because intelligence is one. Bandits don't have one, one intelligence. Not in, in Dark Souls 1. In Dark Souls 2 they do, but not oh, in Dark okay. Souls 1. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough, then. Yeah. I actually did the math and checked, because I knew I would not be doing any casting this run. I did Pyromancy in Dark Souls 3. So. It worked out pretty well. Yeah. Hell, I did Pyromancy in this game as well. That was my first run. Alright, uh, I don't want to buy any of this shit. Oh, you also sell Persian Stones. I wish I had known that. Yeah. Well, they're more expensive, so fuck that. But yeah. Still. I think she also only has one of them. I think the herbs are the only thing that she sells. Or the herbs and the poison knives are the only thing that she has an infinite supply of. Everything else is like you, you buy one of them. That's it. Go down the tunnel and unlock a door and make a shortcut. Yay! Well, I say a shortcut. This is a long run. <sighs> Which are we going to be resting at the fire link or the bird bonfire? The what bonfire? The bird. Oh, the fire bird. link, easily. It is much, much safer. Because if I went to, to the Berg bonfire, then that would mean having to fight all of those thieves again. No. No, 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 no. I mean, the the one that's... When you were going through this area the first time, the next bonfire that you would find, if you were going up those stairs. The one that's inside the place with the ladder that you climb up to to get to the dragon. I don't know what that's actually called. I thought it was the Undead Berg, but... It is the Undead Berg. It's the Upper Undead Berg. But, um, okay, that that's it, yeah. I, hmm. I don't think that'd actually be closer, to be honest with you. 
I don't know. I was focusing on enemy density, but this one does seem like it would have less. Not by much, but... Yeah, let's go sit down. Yay! Are we gonna kill uh, Crestfallen at any point? Or are we just gonna yeah, let when him, he, when he goes him do his thing? Oh, okay. Fair enough. It's not like he's worth anything. He can't give you any items, so... Yeah. I think he might give you a shield if you kill him after he goes insane. Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I think so. All right, um, let's, yeah, let's buy a couple levels. <clears throat> um, dexterity is still woefully low considering what kind of build we're running right now. Yeah, let's, hmm, do we pump dex or do we pump, uh, endurance? Huh, uh, wait, what? Dex or endurance? Do you think? Uh, you don't really need dex at this point, so just go for endurance, so we can take that ring off as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah. Also, apparently, the Crestfallen Warrior has a unique version of the chainmail set that has no name, description, and cannot be equipped by female characters. Hmm. Sexist. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're not going to use it for anything else. Boom. I don't know why I did that, because it doesn't mean I can get an extra level, but still. Yeah. Boom. Alright. So, it puts us at 115 pounds, but really, it puts us at like 77. Something like that, yeah. Not a bad number, but not what we need. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, because I mean, I would like to be able to. Hey, what's up? Oh, hello. I would like to be able to wear the uh, rusted iron ring and the parts of the elite knights that oh, I'm wearing right now for mm. Blight Town. If you want to complete their quest, by the way, you got to buy all their shit. Yeah, I'm just being polite. Oh, he's not actually saying anything new anymore. Um, is what's her name back? No. Hey. I think you have to ring the uh, Blight Town bell. Yeah. I think. And then there's a short period of time where you can talk to them before they go into the depths. Or the. It's a fight pinwheel. I want to say it's the tomb, but it's not. It's not the tomb of Fallen Giants. It's. That's the area after. The catacombs. That's the it. Catacombs. Hey. Hmm. Oh, he's still alive. Good for you. No, you're not. He got a hit in, though. Yeah. More than any of these can say. Yeah. Hopefully, anyway. I mean, one oh, of that there fire we go. Yeah, I was going to say, the firebomb guy might eventually get you, but... There. One out of ten ain't bad. Not even enough damage to require an Estus from six ah, enemies. Really. Oh, well. Is it just me or does it seem like that rat doesn't have the same drop rate for humanity as every other rat in the game? It doesn't. Kind of sucks. In fact, I think there is a difference in the rats. There's two different types of rats. There's a small rat and a large rat. Oh, and I thought it was one the, of, one the of regular has, rats and the white rats. No, and one of them has a higher drop rate for humanity. Mm. And I think all the ones in that little... Uh, dead end in the depths are large rats, and thus will have the higher drop rate, and is why it's the best place to farm humanity in the game. Also, it's like 20 feet from a bonfire, isn't it? That too. In fact, there are no enemies between the bonfire and those rats, so yeah, it's the best place for it. Oh, you were quick on that one. Fair wow, he, uh, he went for it. Bit slow. Just stab That's it. Fine. There, there you go. There we go. All right, this is where I die painfully. Uh, maybe. You do know to drop attack the boss, right? Uh, Plunging that's attack? not how I've ever fought it, but that is the thing you can do. You fought him straight up. That. Well, not straight right. up, but I would do the thing where you sort of 
climb the stairs, wait for him to get up, then he'll come down, and you can stab him a bunch while he's recovering. Oh. Hey, doggy. I think you can use lightning to... I think he's weak to lightning? I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't know. I never used any of the buffs, so I don't actually know. Okay. This is gonna go bad for me. Dogs first. Mountain Dew first. Then dogs. Right? Right? Uh, I'm sorry, I was trying to look for what his weakness was. He doesn't actually have a weakness, but he doesn't have actually strength either. So, literally any element will be fine. Okay, dogs first. Yes, dogs first. Dogs first. Can't see. Ow. Can't fucking see. You oh. son of a bitch. Hmm. I thought I killed one of them already. I thought you did too, but, you know, that's the danger of having the rainbow mod on. You can't see what actually health is. The health you did damage, whatever. No, shut up. Rainbow mod's cool. Yeah, sure. Okay. It's realistic. You don't know how much damage you did until after they fall over. What? You still see the line, though. I mean, it's not... Yeah, it's a realistic health bar. It, like, shows you how much damage you did after you might realistically realize how much damage you did when they're falling over. What? But yeah, if you have any left, you should uh, consider using one of those uh, pine resins. I mean, not like you're going to use them for anything else. Why would I use the pine resin if he's not weak to it? Uh, because he's that... <sighs> he's not strong to it either. It is a straight up damage buff. I mean, you're doing 50 more damage. Is it? Yes. I had no idea. I thought it was just like, it turns your weapon into like, the... Uh... Infused version for a short time. No, no. In addition to what you normally do, physical, you also do 50 damage of that element. Huh. At least that's how it works in Dark Souls 2. I, I'm pretty sure it's the same, but. Die, you annoyance. So you can do it when it's one-on-one. -on -one. Also. Are these guys like the Painted Guardians where they, were, where they will just do that forever? No. Clearly, because he didn't. Well, you step forward when you throw knives, so I wasn't sure if he stepped into melee range. No, I wasn't moving forward. He was just throwing knives at me. So, I I meant him. Him getting closer to you. Oh. Maybe. Don't actually know. Double kill. Nice. You human centipeded them on your sword. Ew. Yeah. That's a mental image. Also, it'd be a doggy centipede. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> Dogs first. No. Safety first, then dogs. Yeah, no. You run up the stairs, get on that little balcony, and then the dogs will kind of try to awkwardly get in front of you, and then you can just stab them in the face. Bye-bye. No, it's your left. Your left. There you go. Going. Not trying to hit him. Fucking Christ. Wow, what the hell? How? Oh. 
stuck, stuck. Okay. What? Or, or, oh, right, that was my jumping attack. Shit. There we go. Dogs are dead. This fight right. just got a lot easier. Now the actual boss fight can start. Instead of the annoying crap. Wow, I didn't do a lot. Alright. No, not that way. Cardinal directions. Fucking. Ow. Oh god! Yeah, this arm is actually pretty good. You're right. Hmm. Boop, boop, boop. Also, you probably should try to grab those souls at some point. It's 3,000. That's kind of pretty good for where you're at. Not that there way, we you go. moron. I hate this boss fight area. Just the area. Yeah. It's too small. Or, well, it's too thin, rather. If this size was more of a square, you'd be kind of fine, but... Yeah. Yep, just keep that shield up. Unless okay. he stands on the balcony, then, uh, then yeah, you can you can leave because you failed. Like the soundtrack too. It's basically the soundtrack from Psycho. Hmm. How long has it been since I played this game with audio on? I always listen to like podcasts and stuff when I play Dark Souls these days. I couldn't even imagine doing that. It'd be such a pain in the ass. Because things would sneak up on you constantly. Uh, it depends. It depends how cocky I'm getting, I guess. I won, by the way. Yay. Yay. Wait, how many souls? There there you go. Okay, I was going to say. <laughs> you got like a hundred souls for that. What the yeah. fuck? Okay. 